Good morning everyone, how are we all today? I hope everyone is doing well. It's another surprisingly beautiful day out today. Um, not quite sure what score I'd give it. I was thinking about this. Probably, I think today is a seven. It's a seven today. It's quite nice. So, I am off down into the high street. I've got a couple of jobs to do, first of all, today. Um, get some money out, stuff like that. And then I'll be heading home, getting ready for this evening, and then we're going to head off and go and watch some funny stuff, I suppose. <laughs> that's, that's a kind of a weird and convoluted way of saying we're going out tonight to a comedy club, because that's what, that's what we're doing. Uh, if you didn't watch yesterday's when I said it at the end, here we are, here's me, saying it again. Before I left this morning, I was, um, I just went through my emails and I've had a couple from uh, my team manager, the of the, um, the team I'm going to be working on at this camp at the end of the month. Um, for those of you who don't know, if, if I, I don't even know if I've mentioned it, I'm basically on the media and communications team, which is, uh, you know, all the social media, Facebook, Twitter and stuff like that, and photographs, videos, promotion, press, stuff like that. I'm on that team, and I had an email from my team manager, um, which basically said that they were looking for someone to be in charge of filming stuff. Uh, he'd had an email from someone a bit higher up saying that that's what they were looking for and he ma emailed me saying is, uh, is that something you'd be interested in you know you're, you're the blogger you're youtuber sounds sounds about right for you so I said yeah that's, that sounds great that sounds right up my street I'll do that <laughs> so theoretically I suppose what I'm gonna be doing is spending two weeks vlogging <laughs> um, I don't know no probably not solidly probably have to do other things as well I'm not I'm not really sure what's gonna happen until we get there but um it seems like that's one of the things I'm gonna be responsible for which I'm looking forward to you know like I say right up my street pretty much so it uh, should all be jolly good fun and also that means as well that hopefully some of that video or photos or whatever I'm doing will find its way onto uh, the internet onto a website onto the campdown website or something and you guys will be able to you know see it even though it won't be uploaded to the channel it will still be um you know it st should still hopefully be around somewhere so that even if i can't even if i'm not vlogging all the time like i'm like i'm kind of doing now then at least you know you'll be able to see what I've been up to over the two weeks hopefully <laughs> like I say it's still a bit up in the air I don't really know all the ins and outs at the moment but uh, as, as I find stuff out I'll let you know all done on the way back oh well, I don't know how to start this bit really so I'm walking back and I walk past my old primary school as I do every time I walk through this way uh, and all the kids are out on their lunch break now and because it's summer, because it's warmer, what that school does is it lets all the kids out onto the huge playing fields that they have there when you're quite finished. It lets all the kids out onto the, uh, onto the playing field they have there and that's how they did it when I used to go there as well. Um, it just reminded me of it really, it just kind of brought back memories which was nice. Um, I remember this one occasion where, you know, it was summer and we was all playing on the field. I can't remember what year it was in, I want to say something like year four, maybe year four, um, which I'm assuming is what Americans would call fourth grade or whatever, right? That's, that's how it is. I recently learned about that, actually. I think the reason why they call it grades in America is because in America you have the potential to be held back if you don't do so well. You know, here in England, they're referred to as years because that's the amount of years that you have been in education. Excuse me. Um, the amount of years you've been in education. So, you can't get held back, really, because of what you're called. So, 
fun fact, but anyway, I think it was year four, and we were by the uh, the fence that because um, there's a fence that separates the school's playing field from the football playing field in the uh, in the park that they're now turfing over. There's a fence that separates them, and what happened was me and a couple of other friends we'd gathered down at this fence, and my friend Zach, he. Uh, he, he noticed that there was this little hole at the bottom of the fence and he, long story short, he escaped. <laughs> he staged an escape from Red Hill Primary School and uh, he, he, he crawled under the fence mate. and there he was on the other side in the wreck, uh, in the park and just kind of, he was there and then the dinner lady comes over and is like, what are you doing? <laughs> Get back in here right now! And all that sort of stuff. Um, so he did. He called back under he was in trouble we was all having a great time he was in trouble but still laughing having a great time dinner lady wasn't happy at all you know because of health and safety if they lose a child and all that sort of stuff oh by the way monster and that also reminded me of like the end the end of our school year um, because obviously it'd be nice weather and we'd all be out on the field and what would happen is we could see in the park all the kids from um, from the uh, the nearest secondary school, Coopers all the kids would go there on their lunch break on their last day of term and have huge egg and flower fights and water fights and stuff in their uniforms and all that kind of stuff was going and we'd watch, we'd kind of go, oh that's that's weird, why are they doing all that? You know, to our young minds, we didn't really understand what was what they were doing. And it just reminded me of that, you know, we'd kind of watch and cheer. It'd be like sport or entertainment or something like that. <laughs> and that led me on to another memory, <laughs> which is of my time at secondary school. I went to a different secondary school. I went to Kemnall and basically they never really told us when the last day of term was uh, each year. And what they'd do is they'd kind of go, right, here are your term dates, the last day of term is, um, I don't know, 26th of May, for example. Friday, 26th of May, okay? And then what they would do is they would stage like a, a fire drill halfway through Thursday and then we'd be allowed to go home and that would have been our last day. They basically kept the last day of term somewhat of a secret, just so kids didn't bring in eggs and flour and stuff to have huge fights to celebrate the end of the year, which is quite clever really, and also quite thick of every one of us who went there not to figure out some sort of pattern over the seven years that we were there. <laughs> Six years, seven years, whatever. It's nice. I like reflection. Reflection's good. I like remembering stuff. I want to go back and visit my old secondary school, actually. Um, I want to go and say hello to a few teachers. Um, just because it would be nice to. I, I used to go and visit my old drama teacher like, at least once a year. Uh, just to see how she was getting on, you know. We, we, uh, we got on well. Um, our group made her cry in one of our performances because it was so sad <laughs> which is quite cool and then someone else in our class almost knocked her out by dropping a tripod on her accidentally disclaimer it was an accident it, even though we mock him about it, it was an accident uh, <laughs> yeah so i'll go back and visit her and my english teacher as well um because uh, we we got on well as well so it was it'd be nice to go and see her every now and then um, so I might, I might do that soon, I think, pr probably before their, their term dates, but I don't know, I don't know their term dates anymore, I have to check on the website to find out. <laughs> and also the thing about it, I, I see the English teacher for every so often because she has a son who goes to the place that I teach at on Saturdays, so every so often I, I, I run into her there. But. Um, it's, all, it's kind of pressured, you know, it's like, I, I haven't got that long because I've got to, you know, get back to work or whatever. So it'd be nice to just kind of meet them, meet the teachers again and have a proper chat, you know, all that sort of stuff. Come on, nice day. Here we are, home sweet home, after a very, very good evening. Shut up! We went to see 
Marcus Brigstock and another comedian, I can't remember his name, <laughs> uh, uh, up the creek, and it was very good, very, very funny indeed, very enjoyable. And of course also as well, it was very nice to see Taylor and Jay again. Um, haven't seen Taylor since we went to Cardiff, so that was nice. Um, did see a car accident on the way here, or on the way home afterwards, which is a shame. Um, from like it literally just happened as well like if we'd have been if we like just by, like a couple of seconds you know we we could have witnessed it maybe even been a part of it which is a scary thing to think about but um from what we could see a bus had gone into the side of a car i have got so many emails but other than that, I don't think there's anything else today other than for me to actually properly say happy birthday, Taylor, because he had a go at me for naming the vlog happy birthday, Taylor, and not actually mentioning it in the vlog. So happy birthday. <laughs> um, other than that, though, I think that's pretty much it. Tomorrow is results day. <laughs> Tomorrow we see how well we did and I'm looking forward to it so I'll let you know how it goes see you tomorrow bye bye oh by the way I had another can of monster so bing